laughter and tears echoed through the National Cathedral today as the nation said goodbye to the late President George Herbert Walker Bush. Friends, family and colleagues reflecting on the life of the 41st president in a moment of celebration amidst the sadness. The National Cathedral was at capacity, a sign of a life well lived. Accompanied by a 21-gun salute, the president's casket was carried into the church. President Trump, First Lady Melania, joining three former presidents and their wives at today's ceremony. Among those delivering eulogies, former Wyoming Senator Alan Simpson, who was one of the president's oldest friends. He never lost his sense of humor. Humor is the universal solvent against the abrasive elements of life. That's what humor is. He never hated anyone. He knew what his mother and my mother always knew. Hatred corrodes the container it's carried in. It would have been so much easier to celebrate his life with him here. But he is gone, irrevocably gone. So now we have loosed our grip upon him, but we shall always retain his memory in our hearts. So through our tears, let us know the blessings of knowing and loving you, a great and noble man, the best father a son or daughter could have. And in our grief, let us smile knowing that dad is hugging Robin and holding mom's hand again. So tonight the attention shifts back to Texas where the president will be laid to rest on Thursday in his family plot at Texas A&M University.